Welcome back to HodgePodge. In this video, I will be taking you through exercises 7 and 8 in the Rhino 3D Level 1 Training Manual. For now on, I will not be announcing the next and previous tutorials. The links to those videos will be included at the bottom of this window. Start exercise 7 with a new file. You may access your layers panel by going to the top menu and selecting Edit Layers Show Layers Panel. You could also access the layers panel by selecting the following icon in the top right. To add a layer, click on the plus icon in the bottom left of this panel. To rename a layer, you could simply double click on the layer name. We will rename three layers, lines, curves, and solids. To change the color of your layer, simply click on the color swatch like so. Let's draw lines on our layer labeled lines, curves on our layer labeled curves, and a solid on our layer labeled solid. By clicking and dragging, we may move the objects we have drawn. Selecting the circular button will make your layer active. I can lock a layer by clicking the lock icon. As you can see, I can no longer select or move my curve. Turn off the visibility of this layer by clicking the light bulb icon. Let's say we put our solid on the wrong layer. We can easily change the layer that each object occupies by going to the top menu and selecting Edit Layers Change Object Layer. Then select the layer you would like to move to in the pop-up window. Practice using the selection icons. Now I have to say this exercise is a little outdated. Rhino has changed many times over since this level 1 training manual was released. Regardless, there is some good information that I would like to share with you. We will open the delete 3DM file that we received when downloading our level 1 training manual. So some of these things are very basic. You can select more than one object by holding shift and clicking. I can get rid of my selections by pressing delete. Command Z or undo will bring them back. If I am selecting my hexagons from the top view, it will provide me with a list of all the hexagons I just selected. So I may select a specific one or multiple. But obviously, I could also select these hexagons from a different viewport. I am showing you this because not always will we be able to do so. To select multiple objects, and I know I have shown you this before, simply click and drag. If you have selected more than you would like, you can deselect by holding command and clicking. As I had mentioned before, this tutorial is a bit outdated. Many of these selection tools no longer exist, but you can still perform the same or similar actions by typing SEL for selection or for select. Here you can see all of our selection commands. You can select all with the command sell all. And that is it for these two exercises. Thank you for watching. This has been a presentation of exercises 7 and 8 in the Rhino 3D Level 1 Training Manual. As I mentioned previously, I will no longer be announcing the next and previous tutorials in this series. They are linked below. As always, please feel free to leave a like and subscribe.